Hi all, welcome to my channel. So to do, today we are going to see one very important topic uh, that is called DuckDB. So see, what is DuckDB? Basically, DuckDB is an in-process SQL OLAP database management system. So just think, what is OLAP? So basically, OLAP is a software for per performing multi-dimensional analysis at high speed on a high larger volume of data, right? High speed, even on a high volume of data. That is OLAP. See, the full form of OLAP is like OLAP, that is online analytical process, right? So let's see how can we use DuckDB. So see here is a, like, you know, you can just say this is a Google Colab. Uh, you just you have to write, if you go here, just write Google Colab. So you'll find this Google Colab. You can just welcome to Google Colab Victory. And you can just click on new notebook. So we are able to open this notebook. See the minute. It will start now. Just see this. So what I'm going to do. First, I want to install DuckDB. So how can I install it? Let me show you. Just write pip install DuckDB. So this is connecting, so it will take maybe one minute. Okay, see, this is connected and now this program is running. We have installed DuckDB. So it's installing the software. Okay. Once we install the DuckDB, what I'm going to do, I'm just importing DuckDB. So let me import this. Import DuckDB. Now let me run this. So I'm able to import DuckDB. Now I'm just want to upload one file to read the data. So let me upload one file here. And here you can see on desktop I have one folder from data for SQL. Here I'm uploading one data, maybe this data. Let me upload here. See, I'm able to upload here. Let me write here path. And let me copy this path. And I want to paste here this path. Okay. So now I have the path of the data and I imported the DuckDB. Now let's try to read this data first in DuckDB. Okay. So I'm making one connection. It's equal to uh, DuckDB dot connect. So I'm going to use this. Okay. So let's write one SQL query. It's a very simple SQL query. Whenever uh, it, if you, if you even don't know SQL query, don't worry. I will explain each thing, so don't worry. I'm writing one query here. So I'm writing Q1. Q1 means query 1. Okay. Just giving like this. Now I can write query here. So I'm writing select star from path. Okay. Path and giving here limit 10. So you can give any limit here. Maybe I'm giving right now 10. Just a minute, sorry. So I'm giving 10 here. Just think what I'm doing here. So this is a very simple query. Whenever you want to read data, you can write select star from table name. Limit is basically for keep how much row we're going to see, right? So I'm taking only 10 rows. Path, I'm not giving table name, I'm giving path here. So, this is my first, very first query that is select a star from path limit 10. And this is a very simple query, even if you don't know, it's very simple. Select a star from the table name as table name, I'm using just path giving 10. Let me run this. Now, I want to you know, execute this. So, when I'm writing data is equal to this con dot execute and passing this query and converting this into data frame so many df dot df let's see this so i'm writing q1 here let me write q1 here 
Now, if we see the data, let's see the data. See, we are able to see this data. Okay. So, I'm writing query here. Suppose I'm writing limit 5. Now, see. So, we are able to see only 5 data. See. So, we can do like this. So, very simple actually. See what we did here. We first install DuckDB. Then we import DuckDB. We giving the path of the data. Then we make a connection. DuckDB.connect. Write our first query. This is the first query. And then I passing this query to the conduct execute dot da means it's converting into data frame see this so this is the very simple thing okay and very important in coming videos i will try to explain each thing about duct because duct is very important okay thank you to all of you